Welcome back everybody, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and this is episode 4, level 3, Shopping Bag of Duke Nukem 3D, on the Come Get Some difficulty, as usual. And as we see, there is an enforcer that is coming our way. Oh, he's going to take the bottom path this time. Well, we have a remedy for that situation right here. Eat shit and die. Yes, Duke, eat shit and die is the remedy I was thinking of. <laughs> the pig cop dropped his shotgun while he was Come expanding. Please return carts. Thank you. Well, the carts are already destroyed, so that's a bummer. We'll grab the shotgun shells over here because I do need them. And this is the wrong way to get inside and the door is locked. But this door is not locked, but a gate prevents us from going further. Now I would recommend to take out the enemies from here. Because it is beneficial to you for later on. But we will make it through there eventually, and you'll see when that will be. For right now, we'll jump over the fence, and we store your crap. Well, let's see what crap they got inside there, then. This is no crap for Duke Nukem. It has some pipe bombs and an atomic health inside, always nice to have. And the night vision goggles if you need a refill on those. And so now we'll go through the other garage door. Yeah, lots of turrets everywhere in the shop and bag level. I keep saying it time and time again, that expander gun, it never, ever gets boring to use. Come get some. We'll grab the shotgun in here, but there's not much else in here. And so now we will go through the shop and bag area through the magazine stand. But once again, we must be careful of the two turrets. Now, I do know that there is a pig cop tank down aisle one, so we'll just use some pipe bombs. Damn, I'm good. Wow, he almost took no damage. Well, I guess you don't want to use pipe bombs on him unless you want to use like four pipe bombs. Down aisle one is some shotgun shells, but we will grab those later on. Uh, the fire extinguisher gives you access to secret number one. Secret number one will just take us back to the guy's, uh, porn room. Well, I guess I'm locked out of this building now because the stupid trooper came back to life. But that's okay, we can just go back the long way around and now we're back again. Now, around the corner we must be very wary of the two protector drones. Yeah, the chain gun also works wonders on the protector drones. And look at that, the, uh, the blood of the protector drones actually glows in the dark, which is a kind of a neat feature. I do like that.
<laughs> All the lights blew out. Your second secret is on the dark part of this crate. And it has some expander ammo inside, so don't forget about that. We'll just kick you. Now, I did read some of the comments that said if you kick a trooper while he is choking, he will not come back to life. Well, we'll test that theory. It's rain and blood, everybody. And the blue key door is also over here, but we can't go through there just yet. And this just loops around, so now we will jump on the crate. Yep, the trooper is dead. And we'll jump on top of the shelves for the supplies. And here we see a protector drone trapped inside this area. I like to use pipe bombs on the protector drone. My goodness, he came out. So use this crate right here. Um, let's get to this side right here. So yeah, I just use a few pipe bombs there to take care of the protector drone, making sure he does not use the crate right here uh, to come back out. Um, what was I doing? Oh, we'll grab these shotgun shells right now. Um, oh yeah, the, uh, the blue key. Um, it's going to be where the protector drone was. <laughs> I just completely lost my train of thought right there. I don't know where I was going. I... Okay, anyways. <laughs> Back to business. We have the blue key, so now let's go through the blue door. At long last. We'll shoot... <laughs> we'll shoot your kneecaps, uh, trooper. Now I do know there is another pig cop down the hallway. So let's use, this time, let's use four pipe bombs. See what happens. And he still survives, my goodness. gonna get squished? Oh, no, he's not gonna get squished. Oh, well, it was worth a try. Oh, yeah. Uh, the protector drone is going to get squished by the trash compactor, though. Which will be fun to see. Okay, stop doing your dance. Yes. All the sticky intestines trapped in the trash compactor. So now in the meat market area, we must be very quick with the turrets. Because there's going to be a pig cop tank. As well as some troopers. So we'll just, uh. Come on! We'll just shoot their kneecaps. And I woke up the, uh. Um. Gosh, I can't think today. We woke up the Slimers inside the vent there. Okay, so in the meat market itself, there's not much. Um, I hate pick cop tanks. They are a bad idea. Oh, no corpse. Fair enough. 
Um, we see the yellow key door here, but we can't go through there just yet. But we see a crack on the crates. Not only is it a shortcut back to a familiar area, it also gives us access to a chain gun cannon and a secret area, so make sure to tag that as a secret. We'll go through the center air duct for an atomic health. Always nice to get those. And now we'll jump through the left air duct. Being very quick for that turret right there. Let's use the, uh, shrinker. Why not? Yes. Um, highest quality meats. Nobody beats our meat. That's what she said, right? Farm-raised sea sauce. 39 cents a pound. UA, USAD approved grade A. The poor sweetness right there probably beat to death by this baseball bat right here. Catch of the net, $9.94 a pound. And we see a poor shark. We'll just uh, put the shark out of his misery. He was still alive, the poor sweetness. One and two opens up the yellow key, which allows us to use the yellow door, obviously. Now this switch will open up a shortcut to get back into the meat market area. And of course he choked on his own blood, but that's okay. Um, making sure everybody is indeed dead in this area. Oh, wow. Looks like cleanup on aisle four. Yes, Duke, cleanup is indeed needed on aisle number four. So we'll jump up to the top of the shelves for uh, the supplies. Including the Ooh, RPG so. over here. Now we're not going to go any further down this area. What we're going to do instead is go back to the yellow door and go through it. must shoot this switch. This switch will lower down all of the um, bars in the entire level. So, and as we see, the enemies are now dead in this room because we took care of them from here. And see, the bars have indeed lowered. must be careful when we open up the left ATM because of three turrets inside but well, we have access to a devastator weapon so we're Duke Nukem are we express checkout 15 items or less or are we checkout well we do have less than 15 weapons so Let's use the Express Checkout. Now I do know that there's going to be a commander down this hallway. I'm going to lure him to me because I don't want to wake any more enemies up. We are not going to go down this hallway right now. We will later on. What we're going to do right now, however, is leave this facility in the exit. 
Thanks for shopping with us. And out here it takes us to the wrong way area, but that was just for the kill's sake. Our goal is to get inside of the manager's office, and to do that we must know the combination. And the combination is number three and four. Yeah, the shotgun works great if the protector drone is in a narrow hallway, like uh, it was. Stupid trooper is choking. Yep, I knew it. Now I knew the trooper would come back to life. Grab the steroids here if you need it. Oh, looks like somebody was playing Duke Nukem inside the shop and bag office. Fire Jack! Caught playing Duke again. Bobby. That's no reason to fire somebody. Duke is an addictive game. It should be played in every single establishment, I swear. Cool. Anyways, very curious about this switch. You want to be very quick. You want to flip it, then shoot the switch, and then grab the red key card very quickly because all the doors are timed. Now this is a shortcut back to exactly where we want to be down this hallway. We'll make a detour on the right side. Oh, come on, Commander. There are two protector drones inside here. I think I'm going to use some pipe bombs on them uh, to soften them up a bit. Right in the abdomen, bitch. Oh, I walked in your blood. Groovy. Red Hot Special, 69 cents, radioactive lettuce. Well, if it's 69 cents, I think I will buy some lettuce then at that price. Looks mighty sexy. Anyways, down here is the red door, so we'll go through it. And we enter into a box crate maze. Well, this one is not too bad, but as you know, I don't like them very much. Another trooper is choking. My goodness, what is this? Snipe you off, you jerk. Now, we will hug the right-hand wall. Being very wary of the pig cop tank. <sighs> My gosh, I hate these things so much. No corpse, that's good. Uh, but yeah, we will hug the right-hand wall, and you will not go wrong. And up here is a secret area. Hail to the king, baby. So make sure that you tag it for the freeze thrower, and grab the expander ammo. Don't miss that. Oh. Where are you gonna come? Yeah? You're gonna come on this side, huh? Well... I'm a ready for you, bitch. Anyways, we'll hug the right-hand wall, like I said, and grab the atomic health. Always nice to have, like I keep on saying. Who wants some? Now, up here is the switch for the trash compactor door. We will flip it later on, just not right now. We eventually come to a holoduke if you need it.
Ah, we'll use the, uh, expander. What? No. Wait, what? What just happened? The pig cop is gone with a squish. That was... Okay. I... I, I don't know. Anyway, this is the trash compactor door. We will go through it very soon. But on these crates, we see an arrow. Oh, I know what happened. This... Yep, there. See? He got squished somehow by the secret door on the crate. Now, explain that one to me. I don't know how that's possible. It was sexy, so I will allow it to happen. Uh -huh. But eventually we come back to the red door, and we did a full revolution around here. So now we will go flip that switch to open the trash compactor door. But we must be ready for a bunch of enemies. Shoot! That could have been costly. Very costly. I almost ate a rocket, which would n have never been a good thing. Wait a minute, what? What's in there? Oh my gosh, I never noticed this. I guess you have to be shrunk by the protector drone to see what's inside there. Um, if you guys want to let me know in the comments what that says. Uh, but anyways, you have to run in the poison and then shoot the switch. And then these switches right here control the garbage mashers themselves. What you have to do is time the um, pounding of it. Uh, the first switch controls the second one. No, I did not press it when it was coming back down. It keeps on doing that to me in all my practice runs. Thank you. The next one controls the third one. And then the fourth one is very difficult. Boom. Boom. Good. Okay. And then this one is very easy. You should have no problems with that one. I hate this area so much, by the way. I don't know why. The black wall has a secret area. With this. No, Duke, I guess he did not escape L.A. Anyways, this is a shortcut to a familiar area with the pig cop tank. Okay, well, this map is over with. Let's go and exit out of this one. Ah, that was shopping bag. A really interesting idea, and really, um... It's a short map. Uh, obviously, 23 minutes is not short. Uh, but that just goes to show just how jam-packed this level really is for being so short. Uh, there's not a lot in it, uh, except just uh, literally a supermarket, and that's pretty much what this entire level is. Um, it's just jam-packed with so many enemies, and so many turrets, and so many pig cop tanks. The ending with the garbage mashers, it's annoying as all get out. Um, those three facts alone, um, the pig cop tanks, the turrets, the garbage mashers at the end, makes this map, uh, okay. It's still fun, I still enjoy it, but you can only take so much of it before you just start becoming annoyed by it. And, and by the end, you know, I am ready to move on from this map. Um, I practiced it, you know, a few times, and now we're ready to move on, so... Um, but that was Shop and Bag, a, a decent map, uh, just deadly. Just absolutely deadly. Um, you do have to be careful with your weapons. You can run out of ammo for your shotgun and chain gun if you use predominantly those weapons. You have to be clever with the weapons. Uh, but we will move on to Babeland. Oh, I'm liking the sound of that already. What are we going to see in Babeland? Well, I guess we shall find out in the next video. So, we will anxiously await the next video to see what we have in store. So, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I will see you guys next time. 
Thank you guys, everybody, for watching my stuff, by the way. I, I, it really means a lot to me. All the likes, all the comments, the subscriptions, just everything. I mean, even if you just watch the video and do nothing else, I appreciate the fact that you watch my stuff. So I just want to let you guys know that. It, it really means a lot to me, and I, I thank you for that. Anyways, I'm out of here, guys. I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.